What's up guys, Nerd Up Desk here, and today I'm going to be talking about my top 5 jailbroken apps for the iPad. Alright, so as you know, the iPad 2 and the iPad 1 are fully un, uh, jailbreakable right now, and if you would like to know a little bit more information about that, go ahead and Google it. Uh, like I said, iPad 2 on 5.0.1 is jailbreakable, as well as the iPad original. So first of all, you just jailbroke and you might be wondering what kind of apps you should get and uh, let's go ahead and show off the first one. The first one I'm going to show off is an application called Barrel. It is not free unfortunately but uh, I think it costs a couple bucks but it's definitely worth it. It allows custom transmission between uh, custom trans uh, custom transitions between pages. As you can see I'm going to switch pages here. It normally doesn't do that. It does uh, an effect when you scroll through and there's tons of effects you can choose from. I'm going to show you one here. So you just go up into the settings and let's see barrel. You can choose all kinds of different modes that you want to do. Uh, I'm just going to choose another example ones. There's all kinds you can choose from. You can see it fades from icon to icon. Alright the next application I'm going to be talking about is uh, retina pad and what retina pad does if you're a techie or know a lot about uh, Apple devices is that everything uh, fourth generation up has a retina display but on the iPad if you try to load up an iPhone app it stretches it out and looks like for lack of a better word crap now what this one does is takes the application and tricks it into retina mode and when you stretch it out it looks really really good so I'm going to demonstrate this with uh, Photosynth um, so I'm going to turn it off and then I'm going to make sure it's not running in the background, which I think it is. Let's see, Photosynth, here it is. So we disabled the retina mode, so we're going to go into Photosynth now. Now, uh, I don't know if the camera is going to pick this up very well, but it's, it's, the text is very blocky, the logos are very blocky, and everything just is very, uh, it looks very low res stretched on across the screen. So we're going to take that out of multitasking again and go back into settings and then enable uh, retina pad for that. Uh, this app is unfortunately not free uh, but it's definitely worth a couple of dollars to buy, go ahead and buy it. Now right off the bat you'll notice that the uh, textures and logos and text are very very high quality and look very very good I mean they're not gonna look like a native iPad app but it's gonna look pretty damn good so well, let's go ahead and move on to the next application alright the next application is SB settings SB settings is basically a menu that lets you toggle all kinds of settings on your iPad it's available for iPhone as well and it is free uh, to activate it you just kinda swipe this bar right here and here's the SB settings menu uh, we can adjust the airplane mode brightness and you can look at your processes, free up RAM if you need some, if your iPad's getting a little bit slow. Go ahead and hit free up RAM, it's going to give us some extra memory. You can kill Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, respring, uh, hide icons, you name it. This is do it. Uh, it's basically the big utility app that you will need for uh, jailbreaking purposes. Alright, the next application I'm going to be talking about is the uh, is uh, Flux. Now, if you have, uh, Flux is available for, for PC and Mac and Linux as well, as now it just came out for iOS devices. Now, what Flux does is adjust the blueness of the screen to uh, compensate for the lighting. So, I don't know how well this is going to appear on camera, but trust me, this looks excellent uh, in real life. So, as you can see, there's kind of like a, a bluish hue. I mean, it's hard to describe. It's basically all LCDs look like this but if I go ahead and turn it fluorescent uh, I don't know how well that camera is gonna pick it up see it's very blue and then this way it looks very much more natural blue see it looks very uh, the camera does actually pick it up well it looks very natural this app I might have said this I don't know it is free I usually turn it on at night that's usually when it's at the worst blueness but uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next application alright the next application is called make it mine now what make it mine does is allows you to edit the um, t 
title bar up here uh, where it says, usually it says iPads right here. I made it change to Gabe's iPad. You can also change and put a uh, words right here, but that'd be kind of pointless because it would override the time. As well as uh, edit a few other strings in the application. I don't actually hid the icon, so I'm not going to open that up. Uh, but it's free, it's easy to use, and I highly recommend it. Alright guys, I hope you check out these applications for your jailbroken iPad. And uh, tell me if you know any other ones I should suggest in the next video. Uh, in the comments below, make sure you like and favorite. And follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Add me on Skype, and I'll see you guys later.